at the end of our last episode, we were here, base built and ready for the yurt. Here are a couple of not so great photos of two flat pack yurts. You guys have all built flat pack furniture, right? Or maybe you've tried to put up a tent with your other half. Well, this is next level. Imagine it, but 50 times worse and with a two and a four year old hanging around. You start with the trellis and the door, which all gets lashed together with rope. Then you have to get the crown up on its posts and put in every one of the 81 roof poles. The centre of the crown has to be perfectly in the centre of the trellis or you put one pole in and another pole will fall out. Then the liner goes on plus wall and ceiling insulation and another layer of canvas. Then the outer cover, the crown cover and three belly bands secure it all and make it really strong. We had to borrow next door's tractor to get the rain cover on the chimney. We were so happy when they were both up. It was at this point we decided that Tracks and Cream really needed a tractor. We couldn't keep borrowing next doors. And as luck would have it, there's a tractor shop up the road. So we went and bought... Sunshine, our little Kubota tractor. She came in super handy for moving these big tractor tyres which we wanted to use in the play area. The kids and the big kids love to climb on them. The play area was coming together nicely once we added the swings and the tyre sand pit, but our next conundrum was toilets. It was really important to me that we had toilets right by the yurt because when we went glamping I was really heavily pregnant with William and the toilets were literally up a hill miles away and I said to Brian if we're going to do this we need to have toilets right next to the yurt. So we put two sheds behind each yurt for a toilet and a camping kitchen and added a solar panel so that we could run lighting to the sheds and the yurt. At the time we had no water to the shed so we bought these waterless solid and liquid separating toilets. Which worked for the first year but I got so fed up of emptying buckets of poo that we now have flushing ones. We kitted out the other shed with a camping stove and everything you could need to cook a full meal. Then Annabelle and I had fun painting furniture and building and testing out the new beds. Finally they were all finished. I interior designed the blue one. Brian designed this one. We would love you to let us know in the comments which one is your favourite as it's a bit of a standing argument as to who's is best. In our next episode, we've got a new secret project which I'm so excited about. We would love you to subscribe so that you can be the first to know when it's live.